The correct intramuscular injection technique is important to ensure pain is minimised and drug absorption is maximised. Injection into anything other than muscle affects drug absorption and could cause injury. For example, an unintended subcutaneous injection is usually related to difficulty assessing the thickness of the subcutaneous fat layer. Injection into a nerve can result in motor or sensory complications. There are four main intramuscular injection sites. 1. Dorsogluteal, also referred to as the upper outer quadrant of the gluteus maximus. 2. Ventrogluteal in the gluteus medius muscle. 3. Vastus lateralis or the upper outer thigh muscle. And 4. Deltoid or upper arm muscle. The deltoid muscle is only for small volume injections, less than 2 ml, and is most commonly used for vaccinations. It is not recommended for bicillin deliveries and is not discussed any further in this video. The choice of injection sites depends on the clinician's discretion and experience, the patient's preference, the patient's age and weight, and your workplace clinical practice policy. If you are unsure, discuss this with the people who support you in your practice. The dorsogluteal site, or upper outer quadrant of the buttock, is the recommended site in the second edition of the Australian Rheumatic Heart Disease Guidelines. However, this site is contraindicated in infants and young children. Injections into the dorsogluteal muscle have been associated with sciatic nerve injury Therefore, care must be taken to identify the site correctly. A number of health facilities are adopting policies contraindicating the use of the site unless there are no other sites available. The ventrogluteal or VG site is defined in nursing literature to be an option for IEM injection delivery for volumes up to 4 to 5 mils. Research suggests that this site is being taught in many education facilities in recent years, although adoption into practice has been slow due to nurse mentors not being familiar with the VG injection site. Compared to the dorsogluteal site, the VG area contains a greater thickness of muscle, it has a narrower layer of fat, injections into this site are less likely to be inadvertently deposited into subcutaneous or fat layer. The area is relatively free of large nerves and blood vessels, which reduces the potential for significant injury. The VG muscle is usually in a relaxed state, even in the anxious patient. It contains less nerve endings and may therefore be less painful. However, it may be hard to keep a child still in this position, and it may be difficult to locate landmarks for injection into larger people. The vastus lateralis, or outer middle third of the thigh, is often the site of choice for the IM injections of infants and young children. Here the muscle is well developed, even in infants, and there are no major blood vessels or nerves underlying it. Refer to your facility's guidelines or literature for details on general preparation of the patient and equipment for intramuscular injection. Injecting into a tense muscle is more painful, so encourage relaxation of the muscle. For all intramuscular sites, insert the needle at a 90 degree angle. Dorsogluteal injection method. Place the patient in a prone, face down position, or lying on side. Some patients may prefer standing up. The correct injection site is the upper outer quadrant. This can be identified in two ways. 1. Divide the buttock into four quadrants. Select the outer quadrant and inject into this area. 2. Draw an imaginary diagonal line from the posterior superior iliac spine to the greater trochanter. In the middle of the line, go up and out. Ventrogluteal injection method. Place the patient ideally in a side lying position. Use your right hand on the patient's left hip or left hand on right hip. With the palm of your hand, locate the greater trochanter of the femur. Place your index finger towards the front or anterior superior iliac spine and fan the middle finger as far along the iliac crest as you can reach. 
The thumb should always be pointed towards the front of the leg. The injection site is in the middle of the triangle between the middle and index fingers. So once you're happy with the site, mark it with oars. Remove your fingers prior to inserting the needle. Vastus lateralis. Anterior lateral thigh injection method. Place the patient in a supine, on back, or sitting position. Place one hand on the patient's thigh against the greater trochanter, the other hand against the lateral femoral condyle near the knee. Visualize a rectangle between the hands across the anterior lateral thigh, where the long sides of the rectangle are formed by an imaginary line down the center of the anterior thigh, and another along the side of the leg. The correct injection site is the middle third of the anterior lateral thigh.